So let's just, let me, I want to hear your perspective on foreclosure. On foreclosure. Yeah. Well, I am not a litigation attorney. I don't go to court. I'm a transactional attorney. I stay in the office and we try to make deals happen. That's, that's what I do. That's what I absolutely love to do. And when we get into foreclosure, I rely on a litigation attorney as we have many in our firm. And there is something called the consent to judgment, mm -hmm. okay, with no recourse. Yeah, I don't think we've ever brought that up on the show. Okay. You want to talk about it? No. Go ahead. I want to hear your side of it. My, I can always bring that up What later. I know? Okay. Yeah. I have had to use that from time to time where we get into a situation where the banks are just not listening to us. Then we can utilize the fact that the property is in foreclosure. I can pick up the phone and I can call the bank's attorney directly and say, what can we do to make this all go away? Because I need to protect my client's interest. The consent to judgment with no recourse means you're going to allow the foreclosure judgment to go through, but that's not a money judgment. That Correct. just means now the bank has the ability to have the collateral back, the foreclosure, the concept of removing title away from the property owner and giving it back to the bank has occurred. The with no recourse part means that the bank is not going to pursue their deficiency judgment rights with regard to the remaining outstanding indebtedness on the note. Good. That's. I appreciate that. Now, that's, that, that's a really good explanation as to what goes on.